and it's not you guys that, that most of us worry about. And, you know, so when you see somebody that's nervous with a cop, it was because, uh, a bad experience. because of a bad cop. Yep. So yep. hold your bad cops accountable. I'll try. Take them in the locker room. Say, dude, that shit was uncalled for once in a while. I'm going to be remiss in my duties if I didn't ask you a question. Go ahead. And I, and I don't expect you to, to answer it. Okay. But you should know it. All right. Do you know the five protections codified in the First Amendment? Gather. Gather. Protest. Fuck. What are the last two? Come on, you're gonna be the one. I know you uh, are. And look, where, look where the fuck we're at. So I think we need to get back to if we can get our law enforcement constitutional training in the academy, and then reinforce that training, just like you do with safety. Yeah. So if we're gonna talk about putting our safety on the guns, we're gonna talk about the protections of the Second Amendment, right? right? Not how we can limit those protections, but what they guarantee. Let, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Um, what? What's a what's a cop's worst enemy? Well, it's at night and he's wearing black on black, and I'm like, okay. Okay, but what's the criminal activity? <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> right. So he's wearing black on black. Uh, that's half the society. Now. Right. Because of him, guys like him, I wear shirts like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You know what? You know what they're starting to teach him at the academy? Hmm. How to talk to people. Appreciate I'm you. Sorry, or, just sorry, being human. Sorry, some of my guys have been jackasses you know the academy they really tell you everybody's out to get you and there's guns everywhere and right guns, everything's scary and all that kind of shit i get myself into trouble sometimes so with my mouth you know and today you know today's day and age well, as, as i say since osama bin laden won right and wow gordon all right we're recording Private investigator. Okay. <laughs> Somebody just wondering what you're doing out no, here. No, I get it. Uh, no, I got one more day. I'll be out here tomorrow too, and okay. then I'm out of here. Oh, okay. All, All right, right. Bob. Oh yeah, I'll let the RP know. Somebody's called. He's like, he just, he's just got to in front of my house. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. All right. So. Cool. All right, man. Have a good day. You doing all right, dude? Yeah, man. All good. Just doing the thing. Being unhealthy, sitting and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it looks like you got a better spot than I got. I'm sitting in the back of a parking lot. So, oh, wow. Uh, I don't get calls for suspicious people, but I've, I'm the only guy who's up in this area. So Right on. Uh, well, I'm John. Nice to meet you. I'm Dan. How you Dan, doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, good luck. Hope you find the guy. Hope you get everything done. All right. All well, right. yeah, no, easy case. Just stupid liability shit. So. Somebody playing like they're injured. What's that? Somebody playing. So I've seen him, and you know I don't expect much out of him over the next two days. So. All right, well, <laughs> stay safe. I'll call. All you right, you do the same. That you're, you're here. You're code for. You're just, I'll just tell him you're. I'll just tell him you're a PI. You got somebody you're keeping an eye on to, for an investigation. Like anybody, anybody that's worried about me is not my person. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. yeah, I'm not too worried. Guy, so. I think it's one of these homeowners somewhere around here. Just yeah, like, yeah. In a truck in front of my house. Or yeah, it's probably it's probably that lady right there. Been, um, been, she's the only one that's really paid me any attention, and I know. you know, I, I get it. You know, no so. big deal. So I'll call her later. No. Is it is? <laughs> hey man, um, yeah. just to let you know. Um, I've had some bad experience with Canal. Um, Guys so, just like this. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, thanks for being cool. Let's just let's just say that. So oh, I'm sorry I appreciate that, uh, you walking up, not looking like Rambo, and oh, sorry, my boy's been treating you kind of. Some of so this is the deal is I got into this job late, so I was in my 40s when I went to the academy, and I was up in uh, it's in Casa Grande for a little while, which is a nasty little fucking town. Um, when one of the lieutenants left and took over the chief's position up in Superior, he called and said, "Hey, I know you're not happy here," and and. Casa Grande, you want to come to Superior? And I looked on a map and went, oh, it looks like a nice little mining town up in, so it's Superior, and I went, oh, fuck, did I screw up or what? <laughs> uh, then I did a Google search and went, oh, there's a five-part ABC miniseries on Superior PD. So uh, I was up there for a year and a half, but I was by myself all the time, and so right. uh, doing things on my own and talking to people and stuff doesn't scare me like some of the guys. You know, the Academy, they really tell you everybody's out to get you and there's guns everywhere and right. like, everything's scary and all that kind of shit. Um, I get it, but 
99% of the time, I never have problems with people because they say, hey, what's going on? Look, and, you, you know what? And it's all about the approach. Yeah. You know, some, of these, some of these younger kids, I and, get it. and that's what it's at, man. And, yeah. you know, they just... They want to know what's going everybody's on. Everybody's the enemy. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's like, dude, so, we're not all out to get you. It's all mm -hmm. good, brother. So, they so just, they just... I've it, had hit and miss, and, you yeah. know, and, and some of it's... Some of it's, you know... I get myself into trouble sometimes, so with my mouth. But uh, you know, um, I I just want to. I recognize good when I see good, man, well, and I and I appreciate it. you. Sorry, just sorry, being human. Sorry, some of my guys have been jackasses. I, like I said, they in the academy they get they get beat into their head, and especially on FTO, everybody's going to punch you in the face, everybody's going to attack you, everybody's got a gun, they're all out to shoot you. Right. Um, and it's all shit you guys got to be aware of, man. Right. You know, and today, you know, today's day and age, well, as, as I say, since Osama Bin Laden won, right. and see something, say something, but... Yeah, uh, I, I, I get it. I just look at some of these people, some of the guys I'm with, and it's like... You know, well, you can you can talk to him before you put him in handcuffs, right? Let, let, <laughs> so, <laughs> let me the turn that around. Um, let, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Um, what what's a what's a cop's worst enemy? <sighs> Probably boredom. <laughs> no, a bad cop. Yeah. Yeah. You know, those are the guys that get they get the good the good ones hurt, and those are the those are the ones that give the good the good yeah. ones a bad reputation because. Uh, you know, PCSO, we've gotten sideways with some folks, and our our sheriff tells us, you know, hey, if you got to go hands on, it's violent and it's fast and it's aggressive, and you will win every fight. So, some of the other agents, I think for the most part, that reputation has kind of kept us safe. Most people won't raise a hand to us, but some guys coming from like Maricopa and shit, they're like. Yeah. You know, fuck you. We'll fight the deputies. And it's like, yeah, I think you don't realize we're under a different set of rules. Than right. Federal oversight. We don't. And our rule is, we don't fucking lose. So if I got to bring everybody, we're bringing everybody. Right. Well, that's any anybody right. nowadays, you know. But, but yeah, some of these you know, agencies are not that way. But so. these young guys just have forgotten all about patience, man. You know what? You know what they're starting to teach them at the academy? Hmm. How to talk to people. You 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 know what is you know, it. It goes back a long way um, with me. You know why these kids don't know how to talk to people? Because of these. Mm -hmm. they, got so their they, head, they got their head down in them. They really, one of the things when I was older, I went to the academy and they would say, hey, we got scenarios and stuff. And I'd go out and start talking to people and be like, okay, if it's nothing to walk away, they'd be like, how'd you come up with that? And I'm like, did all these things. And they're like, oh, well, you know, you talk to people really well. And I'm like, yeah, because I didn't grow up on the internet. These right. young kids are out there trying to figure out what question they want to ask and this kind of thing. Right. They just don't know how to communicate. And I'm no, like, no. You, know. you get you get you get a, a lot more with 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 honey than vinegar, and the, that's what these kids don't. You know. The other thing is, is when they approach something, they're always thinking, "This is a crime." Yeah. Right. This is a crime. what? Somebody what's right. the no? And, it's, and I'm it's, like, it's, no, this is. Why do you even want to communicate with me? I'm eating my burger. Leave me alone. Because it's suspicious. Eating a burger is suspicious. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So we're black on black. Uh, that's half the society. Now. Right. What you know? And I'm like, just go up and talk to him. And he's, you know, the other day we had something happen like that, and um, guy was walking through a neighborhood with a backpack, and they were like, you know, school's out. There shouldn't be somebody walking through a neighborhood with a backpack. And went up and it's like, hey, look, look I need to talk to you if a... you want to, but this is what's going on. And the guy's like, oh, you want to look at my backpack? It's full of school books. He's like, yeah, I work in the library down here. Yeah. <laughs> If, uh, you know, and, you know, I grew up only wanting to be a cop or a Marine. And I had, I had a car accident, wouldn't have let me do either one. You know, back in the 80s, affirmative mm -hmm. action, white yeah. guy like me, pff, good luck, right? Yep. Uh, luckily, I found another way to find chase bad guys and was able to uh, train some guys to do what I do in the military, to do, go down range, do bad things to, good, you know, bad <laughs> to people. Bad things to really bad people? Yeah. Really bad people. So, um so, you know, that's my background. My my son and my wife's or my daughter's married to a cop. My son in law's a cop. That's where I come from. But, you know, there's guys like and just if you go on YouTube and search Borovac, that's my video. Oh, okay. I mean, the guy walks up to me like Rambo within six seconds. I'm waiting, my son just got in an accident, right? Uh -huh. And now I got an app on my phone that I can secretly record, and but I'm a PI, so I didn't go to record cops. I went to record the accident scene and right. get statements and all that shit. He's over talking to the other other lady, and it's he starts walking back to his bike, and he goes, uh, you know, 
we got a wreck around the way. I said, I'm trying to get my own uh, tow truck. I appreciate you, though. And he starts walking over to me like he's fucking Rambo. Mm -hmm. and the switch goes off on my head. And I'm like, first of all, you'll treat me like the citizen that you serve. Now, check this out. Within 20 seconds, he assaulted me. Secondary tow or release. Press Q. Well, I'm calling my insurance company right now for the tow. Okay, well, whoever gets first. No, I'm going to have my insurance company tow it. I appreciate it. Okay, sir, you will address me with the respect of the citizen that you serve. Okay, my son has just been in an accident. You're going to calm down. You're going to calm down right now. No, I'm not going to calm down. Back off three feet. Back off three feet. Back off three feet. Back off. Off. You just assaulted me. You just assaulted me. No, I told you to back off. You just assaulted me. You're not going to talk to me like that with that aggressive manner. Step back. Don't touch him. Stop it. Stop it. Stop with the attitude. Stop it. Sergeant, now. Grabbed him. Yeah, there's. Right. See, and then tried and then tried to tell my minor son at the time mm -hmm. that he had to answer his questions. That's the law. He has to. No, he doesn't. By law, he does not have the to. law. He has to. I'm mean, sergeant. Crash. It doesn't matter. I mean, he doesn't have to participate sir, in your back investigation. Off. You're gonna back up right now. Are he you, does not. Are you involved in this? My minor child. He, I will be sorry. Are you involved in this or not? He is my minor child. Are you child. involved in this sergeant, crash or not? You're dismissed. And I was at a gas station the other day fill up my car in my truck and we hear this bang and I look around and I'm like <laughs> oh no so I was like oh this is <laughs> oh, fucking lovely so that's awesome good times good times all that's right well, awesome. let's get back to work all right Stay you safe. too hey man I'm going to be remiss in my duties if I didn't ask you a question. Good. And I And I don't expect you to, to answer it, okay. but you should know it. All right. Do you know the five protections codified in the First Amendment? The five protections codified in the First Amendment. Uh, the very first law of the Constitution right. that you swore an oath well, I know to. it's the freedom of speech, freedom to uh, uh, gather, freedom to protest, freedom shit. Oh, the last two. Nah, I can't so okay, so we had we had which ones? Speech. Speech. Uh, gather. Gather. Protest. Fuck. What about the last two? Come on, you're gonna be the one. I know you uh, are. Look, it's been a while since I've read First Amendment law, and those are the big three. No, there's five. Though. I know there's five, but there's probably this is the big three. You never talk about the last two. We're the the, last the other the other okay, so the other two oh. are to pray to whatever god you want That's to or no religion. god. Okay. okay. And this is the one you, you also should be, because Houston versus Hill, the obstruction laws were written around this around this very part of the First Amendment. Um, uh, the the right to redress your grievances with government. That's it. Okay. That one's so, not used very often. Though. No, but no, it is reused. It is used, it's used very but it's often. It's not right, but it's not when you think First Amendment, right? What does everybody think? Right, they think freedom, freedom, freedom of speech, speech, freedom of the press. Right, right, and they think freedom of religion. Right, right? protest. Right, right, and grievances. But oh. why, why, have the, why have we? Because see, see, I think my opinion is uh -huh. the reason that our country, in particular, that the, the broken relationship between law enforcement mm -hmm. and the people, is that we've forgotten about that First Amendment and the five protections. Yeah. Because think about it, when you when you took your oath. Huh? Um, you took your oath, Munslow. Mm -hmm. I, Deputy Munslow, do solemnly swear to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of Arizona, and the laws thereof, right? Yep. What was the very first one of those? It was the Constitution. Right. What's the very first law of the Constitution? Right. First the First Amendment. Amendment. So mm -hmm. it's the very first thing you actually swore an oath to. And a lot of law enforcement, as well as the people, have forgotten about that. Right. And we've allowed it to happen, the people. No, we've allowed it to happen because we don't like anybody questioning us, talking to us, or, or doing anything. But we allowed you to let it happen because it's yeah. it, it's it's our yeah. right to hold you accountable through the First Amendment and redress of, of grievances. And yeah. we didn't we didn't hold government government, right. not just law enforcement, right. but government. 
and look where, look where the fuck we're at. So I think we need to get back to, if we can get our law enforcement, constitutional training in the academy and then reinforce that training, just like you do with safety. Yeah. So if we're gonna talk about putting our safety on the guns, we're gonna talk about the protections of the Second Amendment, right? right. Not how we can limit those protections, but what they guarantee. Those so, are intelligent conversations that, let me tell you something, a lot of people don't like to have, man. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, um, I, I've not made it a point, I'm going to tell you. Um, my son was threatened to be shot and killed in 2018 and, in school. And at that time, do you have kids? Oh, yeah. Okay. Two? Are they in school? Uh, my youngest is... So he's threatened to be shot and killed in school. Teacher overheard the threat. The student reported the threat to a vice principal. Mm -hmm. Nobody told a parent. Nobody told law enforcement. Nobody told the school board. Well, they have to now. Well, okay. You know <laughs> why that on, is? I get calls do, do you on know that why one. that is? Uh, Me. Good. Well, because I went to the legislator mm -hmm. and I worked for 18 months in February of 2019. We got a House Bill 2319, which. The reason you're getting those calls mm -hmm. is because of Arizona Revised Statute uh, 15512 and 15341, which are the administrative codes that govern school safety. And I mandated because before, here's how it worked. Only the school board had a duty to report uh, threats or incidents of death, right? Well, now the, everybody does. Right. Now the, the school, has. I made the schools, the teachers, mm -hmm. the faculty, the parking lot attendant now is a mandatory reporter of those threats. See, what I do is when the person that articulated that threat, mm -hmm. threats and intimidation I'll throw in there, but I actually go after the felony, interfering mm -hmm. with the educational institution. Right. So that's what I've been that's right. what I've been hitting them with. The county attorney generally won't won't go for it. No, but I but sure, but sure, sure as fuck get him. Get him. <laughs> yeah. But since, since, if you do your research, mm -hmm. since, since 2019, mm -hmm. We have had a few children bring weapons into yeah. school. We had one accidental discharge of a weapon in a school, but we haven't had a school shooting like we used to have, yeah. or the Other, those yeah, threats research, and, yeah. and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so I tell you that because I'm going after that constitutional training here in Arizona. We need it. So I'm gonna like go the, after I like that. that. I like that training, but I don't know. So, I know a lot of the guys around me are like. You guys are constitutional officers. I know. So, I like you know, it. Oh, hey man, you're you're the you're, you're you're the bomb. You're a <laughs> unicorn, and uh, there's there's others um, like me. <laughs> I I know there are. I've met a few of them, right. and and it's not you guys that that most of us worry about. And you know, so when you see somebody that's nervous with a cop, it was because uh, a bad experience because of a bad cop. Yep. So yeah. hold your bad cops accountable. I'll try. Take them in the locker room. Say, dude, that shit was uncalled for once in a while. I don't work with any people. <laughs> you usually stuck That's why I do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to be well. All right, All right brother. Hey, it was a pleasure meeting you. Be safe. Have a good one. All righty. Bye-bye. Why are you making this hard and what it is? Next time, well, one where's your emergency? Um, North Valley Parkway and 31st Avenue. There was a car collision and the other people involved in the crash are getting very aggressive with the cops, with the officer. There's only one officer here. The officer has told the dad and the son to back off multiple times and they're just elevating. Why not want to Because he's over there getting aggressive.